What's up, my friends? So I have this tweet that I'm going to read for you. The tweet is from me. You can follow me on Twitter if you use Twitter. Username is Sylvester McNutt. Why you need boundaries. Improved relationships. Cultivates high vibrational relationships. Decreases stress. Creates space for healthy dialogue and genuine interactions. Weeds out people who will abuse or emotionally manipulate you. Gives you confidence. So if you look at your life right now and you don't have boundaries set, there's, in my opinion, nothing else that you should focus on until you learn how to set healthy boundaries. This is not theory. This is not, oh, I just read this in some book, or I'm just gonna write this quote because it sounds good. This is something that I personally had to apply to my own life. I grew up with two parents, uh, two alcoholic parents. Now, if you know anything about growing up with the alcoholic parent, you know that there are a lot of things that can go on in that household. Codependency. Um, emotional abuse, physical abuse, and the list goes on and on. And this is going to be a positive video, so I'm not even going to list all the things. And that was just on the interior. That's not it. We're, we're not even going to talk about what I went through on the exterior, right? So for me to heal, when I what I realized about 10 years ago, I said for me to heal, there are certain things I have to say no to. There are certain things I have to put my foot down on. There are certain times I'm going to I'm going to have to be assertive. There are going to be times where people are going to dismiss me and I have to be assertive and I have to step up. I wanted to improve my relationships, uh, but I realized I was I, I was not going to improve those relationships until I proved the relationship with myself. And so for the last 10 to 12 years, I've been on a journey of doing just that, of trying to optimize my life, trying to create self-love, trying to create harmony, facing the pain and the traumas, learning about the pain and the traumas, choosing to forgive, choosing to let go of certain things, choosing to face certain things, asking people and holding people in my life who trigger some of these things to be accountable and never giving up. Never giving up on my boundaries. Never, you know, uh, not giving in. I never gave in. No, you know what? You're not going to do that to me. You're not going to treat me that way. Never giving up. You know, that people always talk about, you know, what they're willing to die for. I'm willing to live for my boundaries. I'm willing to live for my boundaries. I'm willing to live for my boundaries. And boundaries are, uh, it's such a big deal for me. It's something I talk about in the Free Your Energy book. I talk about them in the Care Package book. I think I even have a chapter on boundaries. Yeah. Chapter four, people pleasing and setting boundaries. So, you know, if boundaries is your thing, I got care package in the free your energy book. I also have a course called deep healing and in deep healing. I mean, is deep. It's about 13 videos and we're talking about pain and trauma and healing and all this stuff that I'm talking about. And I just go through my story and I pull out those different learning points and those pain points. And I pretty much just say, like, look, this is how you can learn from this. This is how you need to set boundaries. This is some people you can't set boundaries with and you have to cut them off. And I, I explain that some people you can set boundaries with. Boundaries is a thing. It's beautiful because it builds you up and improves your relationships. It cultivates high vibrational relationships. It decreases stress. Stress is a killer. It's a killer of our system that allows us to heal. If we're stressed out, we're not healing. Literally, we're not healing. So we have to develop a good relationship with stress. Boundaries create space for healthy dialogue and genuine interactions. If you look at the world right now, don't you think we would benefit if we had healthy dialogue and genuine interactions? We all would. So look, if you want to dive in, you can dive into the care package book um, and the free your energy book. You can find those at the link in my bio. Uh, if you're brand new to me, like I said, I have courses as well. The deep healing course is the one that covers healthy boundaries. I also have another course called How to Stop Overthinking. And then I have another brand new course called Restore Balance and Purpose to Your Life. And ironically, if you want to have balance and purpose in your life, you you too, you do need ba uh, boundaries. And I'll talk about that in that course as well. So for me, man, my work, a lot of my work is about setting boundaries. And I try to, you know, depending on the, the pillar of, of, of life, um, I try to find ways where we can use boundaries to help us heal um, because boundaries, they don't they don't make your life worse. They make your life better. So I hope you got something out of this. If you're looking for those resources that I mentioned, the Free Your Energy or Care Package book, 
or the deep healing course or the restore balance and purpose to your life course just visit the link in my bio everything is there you can find it all there take your time look around um, i do have a free workshop for both of the courses so just look for the free workshop you can get in those um, or you can just get registered for the course and just get rolling and i hope you continue to free your energy